Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. Just had a wonderful lunch down here in Tampa Bay, Florida. Folks, as you guys can see, I am filled with energy. So let me tell you guys what we're going to be doing in the afternoon, huh? Previous video on the YouTube channel, we explored and fished the Hillsboro Bay. As you guys saw in that video, it was a pretty a sketchy fishing spot, but we pulled through, man. I mean, we caught five different species of fish. Afternoon, we moved from that spot over there to this spot over here. We're currently at the Seaplane Basin Park, A64 Severn Avenue. Shh tell no one okay no spot burning guys no spot burning all right as a matter of fact i'm going to leave you the gps coordinates of this spot over here part of the tampa parks and recreation <laughs> department organized july 15 1887 so yeah that's about it okay the main objective for the afternoon is really not so different than the one from the morning the only difference is that the body of water is named differently right i mean there are a few other differences that I will point out in this video, but the main objective remains, right? To explore over here and see if we'll be able to catch a few species that didn't really show up in the morning, right? I think that this Bay Area has a lot to offer and hopefully I'm right about that. There we go. What we got here. I was just scouting spots and I saw a structure down there. Uh, it's a frill fin goby, huh? Batigobius soporator. Easy, buddy, easy. Why are you so vicious like that, huh? Give me my shrimp back. <laughs> so we definitely didn't catch the species in the morning. Little frill fin goby, Batigobius soporator. I haven't really decided on where I want to fish yet, which is why I have been walking this wall, right? I did my intro around the sign over there, looking for structure, seeing, you know, kind of scouting to see if there's any productive areas. Kind of decided to stop by over here. There's a rock. Right, this is the one structure over here. Drop by shrimp, got a goby. I'm gonna walk further until I find a spot that is actually quite productive. And then we are going to set up the rods and soak some bait. I have to say so far, nothing too interesting really. It is all the same bottom. Although, look over there. Do you guys see what I see? That little hole area over there? I don't know where that leads to, but any place that has a hole usually has some fish. So I may as well set up over there for now. I'm telling you all, with spots like this, you just never know. The hole is right in front of me. You guys can actually see how the water flows, right? Man, I'm just gonna cast this little one right in front here in the current, you know? While I set up the other rods. Hey, you just never know. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Little split shot with the shrimp little split shot with the shrimp look at that size 18 hook size 18 hook i don't even know what this is man little split shot size 18 hook bro you can't make this up you can't right in front of the hole what did i tell you all huh about a hole being your best friend y'all don't believe me is it a catfish maybe just be a catfish but oh yeah it's a catfish look at that huh strong catfish too man right in front of the hole bro <laughs> let me see if i can lift it up yeah i think no problem for this little hard head hard head sea catfish we already caught this one in the morning so not so interested in this particular species i mean not exactly what we're looking for but you know what i'm saying bro i'm telling you bro right in front of the hole Sometimes, man, is the, is the, I'm telling you, you guys don't believe me. Let, me. let me see if I can give you a view. No, I can't. Okay, I'm going to fall in there if I give a view. But the hole is right over here. I don't have fish for you, bro. I haven't even caught the fish yet. What, 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 what are you looking at me at? I don't have fish, bro. Go, go. Shoosh. 
Shush. Gee, oh, you got to be kidding. Corporants waiting for the fish, bro. Well, how the heck does this happen? Oh my goodness, dude. 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 Oh, I'm gonna get spooled, bro. Oh, did you see that hit, my man? Bro. Powerful. Powerful. Holy cow, man. I was starting to get worried. I was really starting to get worried, man. What is this? Just a big catfish? A ray? Maybe it's a ray. I just want to see what it is. Oh, it's a big catfish. That's it. Dude, how can this catfish pull so hard? Like, you know, I mean... Oh, unbelievable, bro. When I saw it, man, I was like, what could it be? Yeah, look at that. Hardhead sea catfish. And I mean, it's not even like that big, too. It's like maybe in the range of two pounds or so, but on the ultralight. Whew, that fish just went like crazy. Yee, yeah, man, can I pull by the line this one right here? Yeah, should be fine. Let me let me see here. We should be all right. There we have it. Look at that, huh? Goodness gracious! Gee, man, it's not even like that big. But when it pulled drag, it pulled. All right, biggest hardhead sea catfish of the day. If I had a kitchen, look look at those nostrils, man. I never realized it, but they got really big nostrils. <laughs> if I had a kitchen down here, this would be catfish nuggets, but I really don't. So, uh, spot's kind of dead right now. I don't know. This was the first bite in a good 45 minutes. I think I'm going to switch the spots one more time today. This rod has been like super dead. So, yeah, I switch the spots one more time to see if we get some more, you know, um, diversity. Huh, now check this out, huh? We got some nice oyster riffs over here that would be real good for micro fishing, I assume. I think I'm going to set up over here for the rest of the day. Not so sure how it's naggy. It is out there though. I actually wonder if it is deep out there or not. But usually if there are rocks like this around. Ah, okay, it's not that deep. But yeah, usually when you have rocks like this around, usually there's fish, right? So I guess we'll find out. Man, did I get a hit on the little rod? Oh yeah. Something is hitting the ultralight. I just hope it is something a little bit different. I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Is the fish on? Don't feel anything. Oh, it's on, boy. Oh, I missed it. It's not on, it's not on at all. Oh wait, it is on. It was just swimming my way. Oh no, is it a pink fish? Yeah, Mohara! That's what's up, bro. New species for this trip. Let's check what type of Mohara this is, though. Well, well, well. As I have emphasized on this YouTube channel many, many times before, Moharas are very hard to identify. Now, this is my first Mohara of 2021 so obviously it is a new species but as to which one in particular this is at the moment i can't really tell with 100 percent certainty what i did is i took shots of the top of the head as you guys know moharas they have a little hole on the top of the head right and this one got a set of scales in front of that hole which i believe okay makes this one a silver uh, Jenny or a Jenny Mohara, the Eusinostomus gula, but again, I am definitely not 100%. Okay, you guys can see the top of the head. All right, I know that the GoPros they don't do justice when it comes to focusing, but yeah, this is it for now. Now, I am going to have this sample over here <laughs> as cut bait, so I'm gonna put this one on the big rod. That big rod has been quiet the entire day. I'm going to chop this one up put on that one and we're gonna soak some more shrimp on this rod right here
Oh, that bike was more solid. Okay, let me see if it is on this time. That bike on the Mohara, on the cut bait, was a little bit better. Oh, it's on, boy. On the Mohara, boy. Feels like a catfish, though. Feels like a catfish. Catfish or ray, man, I don't know. But this is on the cut Mohara. I was waiting. Let's see what we got here. Dude, oh dude, look at that. It's a nice trout, man. Holy moly, definitely bigger than the one from this morning. Oh, easy, easy, easy. So even the trout, like the cut mohara, huh? Wow, look at that, That's, this is more like keeper size, huh? Gee, no kidding. Ooh, man, that's a nice sea trout that we got over here, huh? Now, usually this would be real good dinner, right? 15 inches. I'm not so sure what is this lot down here in Florida at the moment. But as you guys know, a few years ago, Florida had a real bad case of red tide, right? The whole drama with the sugar and the Okeechobee stuff, you know? So now uh, they want people to release the sea trout depending on which county you catch them at. And I believe that here in Tampa, this is one of the counties that is like catch and release only for this uh, for the speckled trout right you guys may correct me if i am wrong i am not 100 positive on this but let me give you guys here just a final view of our trout that we called on the mohara all right yes to show right they love the mohara i would release this guy a little bit nicer but you know we are right here at the wall but as you guys can see boom went away strong huh Hell yeah, dude! I'm not gonna even going to sugarcoat it. That is like one of my favorite species to eat, you know what I'm saying? But you got to understand, sometimes it is for conservation purposes too, right? Let the population, let them repopulate a little bit before we start taking them again, right? Kind of that mentality. La. Oh, wait a moment. What the heck is this, bro? Easy, bro. Easy. This is one of those. Uh, oh, is this the Bayer de Ella Crisoda? Oh, easy. Let's check it. Let's check it. Fascinating. I do my outro, and then all the different species of fish start to show up, huh? Little Bayer de Ella Crisoda, the American silver perch, has been a good while since I've caught one of these two. Very interesting species. Fascinating. Another one for the Florida trip. I have to say, I can't complain, can't complain. Morning fishing session was pretty good. Afternoon fishing session, the sizes, Definitely better than the morning, huh? I mean, I'm gonna leave it to you guys to decide which fishing session do you think was better? The morning fishing session, which was the previous video, the one where we caught five different species of fish, or the one in the afternoon, right? I mean, we did land some nice size speckled sea trout, right? I definitely don't catch those every day. <laughs> That's not to mention that catfish just, just went haywire on my ultralight, right? That thing was pulling drag like crazy, man. Definitely cannot complain. It is a little bit windy out here. The rain is coming. You guys know how Florida is, right? I can't really afford to get so wet because of my filming equipment. So I'm deciding to pack it up right now and call it a day. Stay tuned, there are going to be many more Tampa Bay videos coming up on the YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, I believe that the next video on the channel is going to be a freshwater Tampa Bay video, huh? How do you like that? <laughs> As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot in this video when it comes to the species, okay, or the techniques or the spot itself. Shh, no spot burning, all right? I'll see you all next time, all right? Tight lines and take it easy.
gosh darn it that one was going to spool me 100 percent if i didn't do that i mean <laughs> I, I had to do it <laughs> probably a ray but that one was going to spool me 100 percent i lost i lost the rig on this one all right that's my fault that's my fault for not spooling this baby 100 percent in before i came to the strip but gee man Ooh, why didn't that fish hit on that rod damn when i saw that band fascinating